Can Yuji Itadori and Yuta Okatsu work together? And can Yuta replace Toto? Earlier, we have seen Toto and Yuji working together to beat the living hell of curses like Mihiro and Hanami. Their attacks are so synchronized and so fun to watch, and the puzzled look on the enemy's face gets us even more excited. Watching Yuta and Yuji beating the crap out of the curses together is going to be even more fun to watch. Though being overpowered together, their partnership, aka the two main character theory, is not going to work, as Yuta firstly intended to be the main character of JJK, was changed because he was so overpowered and being Gege's favorite, he gave him everything that takes the charm of a character. And if he started to work together with Yuji, then Yuji would just be a supportive role to Yuta, leaving Yuta completely completely foreshadowing him. This is why JJK Zero was made as a separate story, so that it doesn't happen. But in some parts of manga, Gege somehow makes it work? Firstly, let's talk about the how much powerful both Yuta and Yuji are when they meet. For Yuji, we know that after fighting Mahito in Shibuya, he can be considered a grade 1 sorcerer, having almost the same power levels as Nanami and Todo. What the hell? After all that character development to be placed alongside Nanami, who couldn't even react to Jogo's attack. While Yuta, being a complete badass as in JJK Zero, we see that he is a first year student at Jujutsu High who is considered a special grade. And with the cursed spirit, Rika alongside him, he has almost limitless cursed energy. And it's not reasonable to expect them to run out in any encounter, unless he really pushes himself. And with the true Rika by his side, and not a clone of Rika. He even managed to beat Geto's Maximum Uzumaki, which is one of the strongest techniques in the series. To top all of this off, Yuta has the ability to copy the cursed techniques of others, truly making him a prodigy at Jujutsu High, being so different from each other. We will now discuss what happened on their first meeting, and how their relationship changed from enemies to allies. After the Shibuya incident, we see that Itadori is declared a criminal and his execution is ordered. And this task of executing Itadori is given to Yuta by the higher-ups. He makes them believe that he is going to do it, making Yuta and Yuji enemies. After Yuta fights with Yuji, resulting Itadori being killed by him, but he instantly revives Yuji with his reversed curse technique. Megumi also joins them, and after Yuta explained that it was just an act he put on to please the higher-ups and gain their trust, they somehow become allies, having similar goals to rescue Megumi's sister, Tsumiki, who is forced to join the game, and to free their teacher Gojo, who is trapped in a sealed prison. Joining forces, they go to Tengen-sama. He is a Jujutsu sorcerer with the Immortality Curse technique. This allows them to live on for centuries, and he plays a vital role in the series. Moving on, Maki, Yuki and Chozo are also present with them, and Yuki and Chozo stay behind to protect Tengen-sama, who is afraid that Kenjaku might attack him and Maki goes back to her clan. The culling game has just started, and the rules are the main point is that the game will commence in different colonies. Here, the story gets interesting. As Gege chooses to separate Yuta and Yuji, as he's sending Yuta to the Sendai colony and Megumi and Yuji to convince Hakari to join them, and then sends them off to a different district. He separated Yuta from Yuji as to focus on one protagonist, and he doesn't want a situation where they have to fight if they stay in the same colony. And you know what would happen then. Yuji would end up dead. Here Gege gives us another sign that Yuta would kill Yuji if it comes to that. Then we see Yuta decimating all his opponents in the Kendo colony, while Megumi and Yuta are convincing Hakari to join them, and they succeed in doing that. From this, we come to know that Gege can't handle the load of two main characters and put them together when they are polar opposites. And if you've seen the movie, then you would know that Yuta had already finished his major development within a short story. He was the protagonist of that whole prequel. And so you've already seen his struggle for his growth. He's kind of finished his significant progression in the movie. But Yuji, on the other hand, is the actual protagonist of Jujutsu Kaisen. As his character, growth has more potential and room to grow because the story isn't based on a single arc like that of Yuta was, but the entirety of the series. Yuji isn't of the strongest. Actually, a lot of the side characters are stronger than Yuji. And to me, that's what kind of makes him feel more realistic. And what I love about Jujutsu Kaisen 
is that the supporting characters can sometimes feel like they are the protagonist of the story, like Gojo Maki and Megumi. In conclusion, I think Yuta definitely fits more of a Gojo role in the story than a main character. Due to his sheer strength and his growth in a single volume, was very simple where he needed to realize himself and find people he cares for. But for Yuji, it's more complex and hard to achieve, and other conditions we talked about above. Here we put an end to this debate, and if you liked it, subscribe!